Hello, and welcome to the GS Industries presentation on what is the SAC. I'm Dr. Joe, and I'm here to explain what the red entity that is the SAC, and where it came from, along with its capabilities. So, the SAC originated a long time ago, during the time of the gods, in fact. One of the gods' closest allies had been assassinated, and the gods were absolutely devastated. Each of them started bawling out tears for a good millennia from their ally being killed. The ally did not deserve the death that they were gifted. One day, a robed wizard walked into the god's court. Y'all know those tears have amazing capabilities, right? He asked. The gods looked at him. He wore all black and had bangs of hair covering his eyes, and he spoke with a strong southern accent. Without asking, he walked over to Zeus's throne and took some tears that were rolling down it. He vowed them into a bottle and bolted out the door. He brought the tears to run some experiments at his tower. He found a red linen sack on the floor, covered it in the god's tears. Suddenly, the sack sprung to life and bolted out the door, not to be seen again for a little while. The sack had been found near several cemeteries, until one day, a dead woman started walking the streets of a small village near Greece. The town was in shock and called for any magic figure to come and examine. The wizard walked up and was in complete shock. The sack he made had reanimated the dead. He quickly decapitated the dead woman with his broadsword. Suddenly, the sack flew into the air, and the townsfolk saw the wizard as some type of demon that needed to be executed. So they brought him to the guillotine and chopped off his head. In his last living moments, a spine-chilling smile stretched across his face. He was then banished to the underworld, where he'd either spend eternity in pain or play Satan in a game of Go Fish or something. Cut to 2018, when a teenager had found the sack near some soybean fields. The teenager was confused and put the sack on his head. However, he couldn't seem to take it off, no matter how hard he tried. The wizard from earlier turned out to be a demonic cultist to some type of hellish idol. The demon now had one goal to kill the sack once and for all, as an act of revenge for his execution. The demon at the time of the teenager being consumed by the sack was in the underworld, so he contacted his apprentice and told him that they needed to find the teenager's friends and make them kill the friend, the wearer of the sack. The demon went for a short little teen, but breaking into his house and asking him several things, such as how to get into his YouTube channel, and whether or not he'd be able to kill his friend to make it easier for the sack to be assassinated. Obviously, the teen said no, so the demon threatened to kill the teen, only to be banished to the underworld again because the teen had a cross necklace handy. The demon's apprentice had gone for a tall, lanky teenager by throwing him into his barn and planned to kill him if he didn't agree with killing his friend, which he didn't agree to. So as the apprentice was about to kill him, the sack came out of nowhere, not connected to its host at all, and saved the teenager's life. While saving him, the sack gave the teenager a blessing, the ability to birth one sack if this one died, which tragically it did. The apprentice was skilled in the dark arts, and killed the sack with a fatal blow from his trusty axe and his clones. So the demon and his apprentice were satisfied. The sack was finally dead, until weeks later when the tall teenager birthed another sack from the blessing. The three teenagers were still friends, even though one of them literally had godlike powers, and the other two were there to protect the teenager with the sack from the demonic wizard and his apprentice. Coming over to the powers of the sack, the sack has many different capabilities, the most commonly noticed one being telekinesis, as shown in many clips from their little game show, Optalks. However, there are other less popular abilities, such as tentacle-like arms sprouting from the torso, levitation, and possession. In the trio of teens' infamous game show op talks, the sack is used for telekinesis multiple times, usually killing the other contestants, or in other words, killing his own friends, which seems messed up. But they always come back to life, and have no hesitation to kill each other, which we don't know the reason behind. This animation was dedicated to AJ, aka Butterboys, for his birthday. So, uh, happy birthday, and thank you for the good Minecraft fishing sessions.